This week on The Wire, 2021 made us wealthier than ever, spending increases as lockdowns fade and dream of ownership still alive. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. And of course, kicking us off with our top story for this week, 2021 made us wealthier than ever. So Australians became richer than ever in 2021 with household wealth increasing by 20% despite the COVID impacts. Now household net wealth rose to its highest ever level in 2021, mainly as a result of an improved stock market, growing property prices and lockdowns reducing household spending. Now plenty of records were broken in 2021. Employment to population ratios climbed to 63%, which is the highest since records began while unemployment fell to 4.3% in November, which was the lowest rate since the peak of the mining boom in 2008. Now, all indications are that unemployment figures will continue to tighten in 2022. Now, also farmers in some regions are having their best year on the land in decades, with the total value of agricultural production set to hit $78 billion with wheat, cotton, wool, and cattle prices all up. The number of business registrations also in Australia grew by 30% while wages are on the way up as economic growth is expected to grow at faster pace than it has in the, 20, in the last 25 years. And now guys, moving on to our next story. Spending increases as lockdowns fade. Now while 2021 may have been the year of saving, Australians did start to loosen the purse strings a little by the end of the year. Now, lending for mortgages hit record levels in November, while credit card lending also increased, and that's according to the latest APRA data. Home loans to owner-occupiers increased by $11.2 billion, while lending to investors rose to $2 billion. At the same time, credit card lending rose by 6.3%, or $1.7 billion in November. Now, APRA says it is watching carefully as debt to income ratios rise, but says it won't implement any new measures to cool lending until it gauges the effect of its move late last year to increase the interest rate buffer. Now, ANZ lending to owner occupiers dropped to 1.74 billion between November 2020 and November 2021, but Macquarie owner occupied mortgages increased to $447 million compared with the same month in 2020. And while CBA wrote $3.3 billion in the new owner-occupied mortgages and Westpac $2.4 billion. And now guys, moving on to our final story of the week. Dream of home ownership, still alive. So the Great Australian Dream of Home Ownership is alive and well with a new survey revealing it, it is one of the most common New Year's resolutions for 2022. Now prices may have taken off in 2021, but plenty of Aussies still want to get their foot on the property ladder, and that's according to the financial comparison site, CanStar. Now, its survey found many participants made a New Year's resolution centered around money, with 21% wanting to buy a home as the second most popular resolution. Now, the most popular resolution, and this is of the 2,124 participants surveyed, was to save money. The third most popular resolution was to buy an investment property, with 10% of participants saying this was their major goal for 2022. Now, CanStar finance expert Steve Mickenbecker says the results show that not even high property prices can dampen the Australian obsession with property. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're watching this. Guys, have a great week, and remember, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.